The outgoing U.S. ambassador to Nigeria, Mary Beth Leonard, has said Nigerians should be proud of the evolution of the country's political process since 1999. While speaking in Lagos at a farewell reception for her on Monday, Ambassador Leonard said the just-concluded 2023 elections turned out to be a competition like no other in Nigeria's recent political history with many interesting dynamics. She said Nigerians should take some pride in the fact that post-election grievances have been channeled through the courts, unlike what happens in some West African countries. But what I would really like for Nigerians to take away from this experience is um, how many positive things came out of this election, right? I mean, this was a competition like never before. This was a place where 20, this was an event where 20 states uh, flipped to another party. This was a place where uh, people who were so sure that they're going to win their Senate seat didn't turn out that way. Other people came out. Um, it was, uh, and, and, and beyond that, uh, you see that the candidates are, who have some grievances are going through um, established legal channels. And everybody in Nigeria just accepts this as the norm. Think about the larger environment in which you live in West Africa, where there are people who are you know, standing up for coups or for third termisms. And there's this wonderful acceptance of the rules of the game in, Ni in Nigeria and a sense that the last elections change the terms of the debate to be a much more open and competitive system. And so whatever your personal feelings at the end of, uh, at the, end of the electoral process, whether your candidates prevailed or not, I hope that all Nigerians take a sense of pride at what an incredibly developed and mature democracy, how much your evolution um, has come uh, over since, uh, since 1999. It's really something to be proud of. You know, looking at the, the, the big ticket or the really highlight um, achievements, really you have to look at health. Um, that's actually probably where, that's not probably, that is where the United States spends the bulk of its uh, budgets um, in Nigeria. Uh, just a few in early 2020, before everything shut down, I got to celebrate the end of wild uh, polio virus in, in Nigeria, which of course had the effect of making all of Nigeria wild uh, polio virus free. Um, and then, you know, you look at things like, you know, the president's program on AIDS relief. Um, it's been going for 20 years, you know, we've, we're contributing to 1.7 million people on treatment and we are speaking today, credibly, of being within epidemic control. That's incredible. I mean, that is an amazing achievement. And a, a lot of the structures that we built uh, uh, to, to address HIV turned out to be really handy when we came to the time of COVID, right? Because whether you're moving a bed net or you're moving a, 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 a HIV sample or you're moving a COVID sample or la later moving a COVID vaccine, those habits of, uh, of, of distribution and the laboratory network turned out to be really, really important to our ability to help out with COVID. So now, you know, it's amazing. 60% of, of Nigerians uh, eligible are now vaccinated against, against COVID-19. And I think now it's really exciting to look at the structures and, and, and um, habits and what we've learned from those two things and integrate them into the broader health system to help Nigerians who aren't dealing with a specific disease or a specific uh, pandemic, but on a more general um, sense in healthcare delivery. So I'm just as, as proud as can be of so many things, but I always tell my, my staff at the embassy too, really the part that makes you the most proud as a U.S. taxpayer is seeing what we do in the realm of health.